Well, back to school is creeping back upon us, but I'm back here at the Charter School for Applied Technologies with the Assistant Principal. Thanks so much for having us, Derek. Yeah, thanks for coming. I appreciate you coming in today. Why don't you start off by telling us all about this school and what makes you guys so unique? Well, you know, I think that uh, our staff and students are one of a kind. I mean, I love everything about this building. I've been here for almost 10 years now, both as a teacher and now an administrator. Uh, we've we've grown over the past 10 years into one of the largest, actually the largest uh, charter school in New York State. Uh, in addition to that, we're pulling from over 10 different school districts that uh, gives us a very diverse student population. So uh, we're doing a lot of great things here on a daily basis. And we have, like I said, a great, a great staff followed by, you know, tremendous students. So. And in particular, your kindergartners are really some standouts, right? You know, we, <laughs> we pride ourselves with our kindergartners and our kindergarten teachers. It starts there at the foundational level, level of kindergarten because that's where it all begins, right? So, you know, when we have the kids come in, it's, we start them ground level, build them up. And we love seeing those students go from kindergarten through fifth grade in our building and then all the way up through our high school. It's, it's the growth that we love to look for. And like I said, start square one in kindergarten. Right, and also, like you said, with the teachers, the kindergarten teachers as well. They have a wealth of knowledge. We have some teachers that have been teaching for almost 20 years, but you know we have some of the newbies in as well because, and so it, it's a great dynamic within the team. You know, they have nine classrooms, so it's it's large. However, the class sizes are small, so we're ranging you know anywhere from like 18 to 22. So it's it's very easy to get you know those small group opportunities. They have an aide in the classroom, so every class has two adults in there. To, with with those class sizes, it's amazing. You know, things used to be a lot bigger, but now since we've reduced size we've seen so much more success and the kids are more you know they're more engaged in everything it makes things a lot easier for them to learn it's great that's incredible it is so important to have that teacher to student ratio so you can those teachers can really get to know those students those students feel more comfortable and there's less people they really have an intimate space to grow and learn what is it about the school that you love so much well, I mean, I wouldn't be here if I didn't love it. Let's put it that way. You know, this place, again, being here for about 10 years, it's, you know, the, the staff, the students, the families that we are around, you know, they are great. I, I, I couldn't ask to be at a better place, to be part of a better team. It's, you know, it's a family, it's a family first. You know, we, whenever we have people come in and interviewing to become teachers here, that's the, one of the questions they always ask us. And, and my response is always, this is a family feel. We have this, this dynamic, you know, every team is different, but at the end of the day, the, the people who make this place what it is, the people who are here help our students be successful and help the school to ultimately be the best that it can be. Uh, about how many students? So in, in our building right now, we have a little over 1,100. Okay. Uh, so as the, the whole district, K to 12, we're about tw just under 2,400 students overall. And how do your students compare to other school districts? I'm sure with the intimacy you have, it allows them to excel. Well, you know, I think that, you know, when we look at how we compare to different districts, you know, it's going to be different for maybe the suburbs, but in the city, it's a little bit different, right? So we, again, having these smaller class sizes, we just started this, this is our third or second year into this now, because we said, you know what, we need to make a change. We need to differentiate ourselves and show, like, this is something that's going to help us to excel. So not only is the kindergarten at that same, but kindergarten at that uh, uh, capacity, but we go kindergarten, first, and second grade all have those lower class sizes. So it's a building block there that we're hoping to see the trend and we've already started it this past year so we're really excited to see how things progress in the next few years and like and hopefully you know as we see these these great uh, turnouts that it, it'll just continue on Great. What are you most looking forward to for back to school as students arrive? Gosh, you know, the smiling faces of the kids. You know, it's the little jitters that kind of like get you ready on the first day of school. You know, as, as, a, as an adult, it's a little bit different than a kid, but it's still really exciting every single day. You know, of course, there's going to be some of the hiccups in the road and we're going to have to deal with some of their craziness, but it's, it's really exciting just leading up to the first day. It's coming around the corner a couple weeks away. Got a few more things to take care of, uh, setting up the building and everything, but we're just, everything is just, you know, falling into place as it needs to. Well, thank you so much for welcoming us back to the classroom and good luck to your students this year. Thank you so much. We appreciate you having me. If you would like to learn more, head over to their website at csat-k12.org.